Hey there, Vince here, and welcome to a Circuit Rewind quick bug report. This will probably be the quickest bug report I give because there's not a whole lot to actually get into on this one. Recently, I picked up a few of these really cool looking RSA servers off of eBay, but in reality, they're just rebranded Dell PowerEdge R630s. The reason I wanted to get these is because I run multiple home labs. So I have one here in my home, but I also run one in various family member houses as well. That way they have the ability to have local NASs for file storage. And then each of the houses synchronize their file servers to each other as kind of a co-location backup between all of us. So any data that gets written to a server in one house will co-locate and propagate to uh, every server in every house. The main hypervisor I've been running on all of these boxes in each of my locations has been VMware vSphere 7. Now that I have more than one server in each location, I have the ability to migrate virtual machines back and forth across the different machines in a single location. So that way I can do rolling upgrades of each of the servers, which has enabled me to upgrade to vSphere 8, the current version that's on the market right now. Being a home lab environment rather than in a data center, my server is actually about 20 feet or less away from my bed. I don't like the noise of the fans, and uh, all I really have is a giant wood door separating my sleeping area from the room room server area. So on vSphere 7, I can install the VIB for IPMI tool and then use that to send some special raw hex values, whatever, to manually control the fan speeds on them. However, the IPMI tool, uh, there is no VIB for that on vSphere 8. And Google as I may, I could not find a replacement and neither could, it seems like anybody else on the internet. Rather than just give up or do some IPMI commands manually uh, over the network, which might be possible, but I didn't really want to get into that with iDRAC and all that stuff, built the VIB myself. And uh, it is linked down below. So if you need it, just click on that and I will now show you the process of installing and running it. For me, I'm pretty lazy. I just want the easiest way to do things possible with a nice graphical interface. I limit my time on the command line. First, I already have a data set defined, and I'm going to go and upload the VIB to my data set. Once that file is there, I'm gonna go over to Manage Services and turn on SSH, so darn it, I have to go into the command line anyway. Bummer. I'm now gonna SSH into the box. I'm gonna type in the path of where that VIB is now sitting, and run this command here to install it. And make sure you have the dash F on the command because that's like the one thing that says, hey, yes, we do actually want to install it, even if this isn't from a certified developer of VMware because I'm just some guy on the internet. Please note that the install does take one to two minutes. I don't know why everyone else has reported this too for other VIBs. VMware is god awful slow to even installing the smallest, tiniest little files because this is only a few kilobytes. Anyway, once it's installed, you can now run the IPMI tool on the command line. And there's a bunch of random hex values you can type in to control your, your fan speeds. Well, again, I'm lazy. So what I've been doing all these years, even prior to vSphere 8, back on vSphere 7, I had a tiny little shell script that I saved these hex values into that I just called fan speed. And since I'm going bundling and shipping out this VIB file now, I, I decided to include my fan speed command. So you can now just type fan speed on the command line and then give it a number after that. And I believe the range is zero to 100, but it might have been zero to 255. I don't know. I haven't touched this thing in, in years, like the shell script. I run it usually around between 10 and 20 because that's all I'm caring about is the audio decibel level, the how much is it annoying me. Anyway, between 10 and 20 is usually acceptable for my ears. And then for the rate that I run my servers at, uh, for their thermals, I keep track of that using check and K and they're, they're fine. Uh, your results are obviously going to vary because the temperature of your rooms are gonna vary and the amount of workload on your servers and the CPUs and other components generating heat are gonna vary. So don't use my numbers, use your own, do some evaluations, set it how you like it, monitor your graphs over a while. IDRAC will also show internal and external temperatures of the server, so keep an eye on that. Or if you're uh, super fancy like I now finally am, you can use one of these Axe effect sensors by Craft Computing. They're really awesome, and so I now have all my temperature graphs from that inside of Check MK.